Chaos und kalt in Kapstadt. Ich kläre euch unterwegs auf. Okay, folgendes geht hier gerade vor sich. Wir sind auf dem Weg nach Woodstock und dieser Vlog, äh, Vlog spielt parallel zum Vlog, den ich schon veröffentlicht habe. Das passt aber thematisch überhaupt nicht zusammen, deswegen musste ich die Sachen trennen. Und was passiert ist, es ist was passiert, worauf ich gehofft habe, was ich aber nicht erwartet habe. Und ich habe jetzt immer nur nach und nach Zeit, das zu erklären, weil wir ein bisschen in der Hobby sind. Und ehrlicherweise, weil ich auch bin, wie ein kleines Kind an Weihnachten. Thanks, guys. Oh my gosh. Things will change from here. What's up, pirates? My regular audience will realize just now that something is off here. Please hang in there, I'll explain, but for now, we need to go back to this meeting. It's a film about being connected as a human being, so like in a way. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dan Mays is a creator, director and filmmaker dedicated to make content that matters in a social media world full of short-term entertainment. And since I stumbled across his YouTube channel, the biggest inspiration for me there is. But let's go back even further. My girlfriend and me are currently on a trip around the world. The last two months we traveled South Africa. We drove over 5,000 kilometers across the country and no matter where we would be and what we would see, I would always somehow in the depths of my mind secretly think, maybe, when we get to Cape Town. Maybe. And then... I'm gonna have to go back to South Africa. I flew to South Africa. That doesn't mean anything. I would constantly ask myself, what would I say? What would I ask? And maybe you can relate. Saying something seems comparatively easy. Please don't get me wrong, it absolutely can be hard to step up and speak your mind if it is important to you. But asking something, asking something means to really reflect on what it is you want to know. And putting this into the context of the situation. And lastly, figure out if the issue you would like to address really is worth time, knowledge and experience of the person supposed to be asked. And this started building up pressure. It was just a simple question, but was it too simple? Was it too stupid? Too selfish? The only thing that came to my mind was should I start speaking English in my vlogs and videos? That's it. And it would be like a broken record in my mind. Repeating this question over and over again, not getting away from it, until I would slowly realize that I was thinking about this since I started on YouTube. And it took me a while to realize that what I really wanted to ask wasn't about the language. What I wanted to know was, should I be brave enough to go out and dream big, or start small and try to accomplish what I want to step by step? Should I create and change things with all I got every day? Or should I rather approach what I really want to do? Slowly but surely, sticking to the language I know best, playing it safe. And I believe if you ask a question that is that important to you, you don't want to hear it doesn't matter. You'd like to hear. That's an interesting question. Then we talk about boundaries and authenticity and how this is related to inspiration about real and fake happiness and what it is based on. And even though it was words, hearing it from someone that inspires me the most in this time really meant a lot to me. So here I am, about a week later, recording this video in the middle of Tanzania in a unique and probably the biggest art gallery in Africa. 200 kilometers away from the Syrian Giti after three days of travel and two nights at different airports. Still, wrapping my head around this conversation. And I know, you may think, man, relax, you're making it sound way bigger than it is. But it is big, it feels big to me. Because on this day, I realized that even though I was chasing my dreams and telling everyone around me to go for it and just live your passion, I was still holding back, still dreaming small. 
still looking for excuses to justify why not instead of just going for it and asking myself why not and speaking english or not was only a mental manifestation of a much bigger issue holding myself back resulted in editing videos not really the way i wanted to do not really speaking the way i wanted to do and also not creating content 100% really the way i wanted to valuing the opinion of others always above my own. I know I will face this issue again and again, but for now, all doubts and disbeliefs are gone. And all just because I found the courage and confidence to ask and reflect on a question I would consider myself too simple, stupid and selfish. This conversation, this day, made me realize confidence is key. Because confidence doesn't need anyone to agree. And confidence will break through all boundaries and finally set your mind free. Ah, uh, yeah, so <laughs> this was my first real English edit I would actually consider a video. Hope you like it. I didn't do this video so much for me, but rather for all the people that feel tortured by a question or a thought. Because I believe no matter how simple a question or thought in your mind might seem, there might always be more to it. So again, I hope you liked it. There might be coming more and let's be confident. Let's be pirates. Oh,